Uh, we're going to be covering a whole bunch of things here. I'm going to be including like average prices and median prices as well. We're going to see how many listings got canceled for the month of June. Like, and if you guys like this kind of stuff, cheer me up, like, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the numbers just came out and June is now officially the slowest month of the year for the city of Brampton. Before that, it was January at 603 and May was already slow, like at 670 because of the interest rate hikes that were going on. And now officially 518 homes sold. That includes homes and condos as well. So in the whole city of Brampton, only 500 listings got sold and that is not good news because uh, if you're trying to sell your house, this is the kind of stuff you guys need to discuss with your agent. Well, hopefully with me because I'm an agent. <laughs> hopefully you're talking to me. But uh, joking aside, um, important numbers to know if you guys are thinking of selling or buying. Okay, uh, this, is what the, this was the market share for the month of June. Detached homes made up the majority of the market. No surprise there. They were at 52%. Uh, freehold townhouses is at about 14%, condo townhouses is at about 10%. Okay, so uh, let's get into the numbers. So I'm going to be covering average and median prices from here on for every single video I do. So um, hopefully that's enough information for you guys to make you know decisions whether you want to sell or buy. Um, Okay, and I'll be covering, every, I mean, I'll be comparing everything to uh, January, even though some things peaked in February, but just to keep things consistent, I'm going to use January as the marker. Okay, if we compare January detached average prices, they were selling for 1.65, and now they're down to 1.245. That's a drop of $406,000 in only a matter of six months. Okay, now let's look at uh, median prices. Um, also, let me know if you guys think I'm going too fast or too slow uh, because I don't want to go too fast because then you're not able to go read some of this stuff. But at the same time, I also don't want to go too slow where you guys are like, oh, this guy's boring. Okay, just skip to the next video. <laughs> so let me know. Uh, let me know if it's too fast or too slow. And I'll adjust in the next video. So for detached median prices, they were at 1.5 in the month of January. And now they're down to 1.19. That's a drop of $350,000 in a matter of a few months. Semi-detached. Average prices peaked in February, but just to keep things consistent, I'm going to use January as the marker. 1.23 in the month of January for semis, and they're down just under a million dollars and $985,000. That's a drop of $244,000. That's semis for average. Now, if you look at semis median, uh, they also peaked in February. They were at 1.27 uh, in February, but in January they were at 1.25, and now they're selling just under a million dollars. That is about the same as uh, average prices. So average and median about the same for semis, and that's a drop of 265 thousand dollars. Freehold townhouses. I, I told you guys it's going to be a long video. <laughs> uh, it's going to be very detailed, but I think important to know because um, um, some agents are still in denial or, or they know the stats, but they're not sharing everything with you guys because they're afraid that some, I, I want to be very clear. Most agents will tell you the truth, but there's a small percentage who are still kind of like not sharing all these stats when they go to list a property or when they're working with a buyer. Because they're afraid that if they share these stats, maybe the sellers are going to be like, oh, it's not a good time to sell. I'm just not going to do anything. So they just list the property, lock somebody up in a contract, and then hope for the best. And before you know it, you're locked up in a contract with um, nowhere to go. So that's the reason I'm sharing this with you guys. You know, just be aware of exactly what's going on in the market. But like I said before, to be very, very, very clear, most agents are not like that. But there is a small percentage who might be doing that kind of stuff. So please be careful out there. Okay, freehold townhouses average, they were selling for about 1.1. They're down under $900,000. Freehold townhouse uh, median, median prices. Uh, they were selling for over 1.1 and now they're at about $915,000. That's a drop of $231,000. Okay, condo townhouse average. $873,000. They also peaked in February over $900,000, but we're going to use January as the marker. So 873, 
and now they're down to $746,000. That's a drop of $126,000 for average prices. Uh, median prices for condo townhouses in Brampton. Okay, also peaked in February, but if we compare to January, $860,000, and now they're at $735,000, that's a drop of $125,000. Condos average prices and uh, also peaked in February by a lot, like 693 for a condo in Brampton. That is crazy. Back in the day, like I know I'm aging myself here, but uh, we were selling like a detached house for $300,000 in Brampton. Like that's a long time ago, but um, yeah, for a condo to sell at about $700,000, that's insane. And if you compare it to June, they're down just under $600,000. I mean, in my opinion, that's still a great price. But they're down about $28,000 when you compare it to January. When you compare it to February, yeah, they're down you know, a lot more. Uh, median prices were at $587,000, and that's a drop of $43,000. Okay, uh, that is for prices. We're not done yet. We're not anywhere close to done. Um, I posted a video just about a couple hours ago on uh, just the GTA market in general, like a whole very broad overview of the market. And somebody asked me like if I could show prices from last year as well. I should have included that. I didn't think of it um, because I was just trying to do like a very broad overview of the state of the market like right now. Um, but yeah, so somebody asked me if I could include prices from last year. So I will I will do that for this video, and I guess I'll try to include it for each market from here on. Um, so if we compare to last year, uh, this is the percent change over here. I'm gonna try to keep moving this thing here. So this is June of last year, like what they were selling for. These are average prices we're talking about now, and this is what they're selling for this year. So I guess if you want to. Uh, like as, let's say if you bought for example June of last year, you're still doing good even though the market has dipped quite a bit uh, You're still okay because a lot of the homes are still up about you know nine to ten percent um, So I guess it's kind of a useful stat if you bought last year But if you're thinking of selling like now or if you bought like if you want to buy now This doesn't really matter too much to you, you know um, Because what you're concerned about is like what's happening right now in the market so um, what I showed before, you know, like comparing January, February, March, April, May, June, that is probably a little more uh, relevant information. But yeah, like it, I guess if you guys bought last year or if you sold last year, you guys kind of want to know like, okay, year over year how the market's doing, that's how it's doing. So technically you're still up, but um, if you're in the market right now, that I mean, um, you're more concerned about like what's happening right now. Now let's see what um, how many listings took over two weeks to sell in the month of June. So what I've been doing is I've been following every single month, and um, in January and February everything was flying off the shelf. Everything was selling like three four days. So you can see like hardly anything took over two weeks to sell in the month of January and February, and it started shooting up uh, in April because the rate hikes came in in March and April. So it shot up here and even higher and even higher in June. So you can kind of see the trend, which way it's going. Things are taking longer to sell. Uh, so please be careful of anybody promising you it's gonna sell in five days. Um, not saying it's not possible, but the averages show that it's gonna take a little bit longer to sell. Now let's see how many listings got canceled in the month of June and how they compare to the peak of the market. So hardly anything got canceled in January, a lot more in February, and started shooting up right around when the rate hikes happened, April, May, June, also like right around the 800 mark. That means that about 800 listings got canceled in the month of June. Now chances are they came back at a newer price just to get a fresh start, you know, uh, so that is a bigger, big possibility. Um, there's always a possibility that the sellers just don't want to sell anymore because they're not getting the price they want. So that's also possible. Um, now let's see what's on the market right now. So we're going to be looking at active listings and uh, how many have changed their price 
and how many have been on the market for longer than two weeks okay so this is currently what's on the market on the Toronto real estate board in Brampton there are over 1300 listings available right now and out of those 200 of them have had to drop their price because they were not getting the price they were looking for and out of those out of the 1300 listings 823 of them have been on the market for longer than two weeks now why is this important you you might be like oh i don't care it's an irrelevant stat um i don't think it's that irrelevant i think it's important because it shows day to day what's happening in the market like i said before price is always king you know that always dictates the market but if you guys want to get a true feel of what's happening day to day this kind of stuff is also important because it shows that listings are not flying off the shelf anymore so if you're thinking of buying maybe you have a little bit more time to maybe go see the property twice right or maybe talk to the bank hey i'm buying this for 865 am i going to get approved for 865 am i uh, is the appraisal going to go through at 865 so all that kind of stuff you can do a lot more homework now like you don't have to panic and just throw money to the sellers okay so um one more thing i wanted to cover was uh sales to new listings ratio what this just means that like how many listings are coming up and how many are selling and they say like if the sweet spot is between 40 to 60 percent we are in a balanced market if it's above 60 percent we are in a seller's market if it's below 40 percent we are in a buyer's market so what i did was um, i compared uh, february to june okay so the number we're looking for is here like this one here snlr and if you want to look at Brampton, I'll be covering these, I'll be making videos on every single city here that you see. Uh, so if you guys are more interested in, hey, what's happening in Caledon or Mississauga or Burlington, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to try to get to every single city um, in this much detail. Uh, so right now we're just focusing on Brampton. In Brampton in February, the number uh, SNLR was at 74%. And in uh, June, it shot down to 61.9%. So we are quickly approaching a very, very balanced market. Just by being out there, though, like, and just by looking at all these stats, like how many listings are getting canceled or dropping their price, how long they're sitting on the market for, I think we are very much in a balanced market, if not a buyer's market already. So um, just, I mean, but technically, if you guys want to go by this number, technically we're still in a seller's market but my opinion i don't think so um yeah is that it yeah i think that's it uh so if you guys like this kind of stuff i know it's a lot of bad news but important to know if you guys are thinking of buying or selling in brampton like i said before i am also an agent <laughs> if you guys need any help buying or selling you can reach me in my infos down below and i think that's about it thanks see you